Hi guys. So I'm in a new lid today. Weather's looking a bit crappy, but I'm hoping to just um, just get a bit of review in on my new lid that I'm wearing. It's the new Rurock Atlas II, Rock, which has took absolutely ages to come, but it's been well worth the wait and we haven't exactly been able to go out riding anyway. So my personal views on this helmet, I've only had it on since I left home about 15 minutes ago. You know, it's a nice looking helmet. It's in a matte black, as you can see. The visor is a dark visor, but the did come, it did come with a clear visor and you get a dark visor as an extra and it's got its own little pouch as well, which is, uh, which is really good. So, um, let's get across here. So yeah, it's, it, it is worth the money. Um, I ordered it back in February. There's a few issues on Facebook where people are saying that they've not received them yet. But to be fair to Rorock, they told me anyway it was going to be the 10th of June, uh, which I completely forgotten about, and I forgot it was actually coming till it turned up this morning. But I've got my, my add-ons here, as you can see, my add-ons. Just check you're still on. Yes, you are. So this is my... Um, I've gave you the name of this before, Motor Rads, that's it, and it's the helmet mount, which fits absolutely perfect on this helmet. Now, the one thing that I have, you know, so I've been riding about 15, 20 minutes in it, and one thing I've noticed straight away is the fact that it's, the air is just rushing through it. Now, I've not got my earplugs in, and normally when I put the earplugs in, it does mitigate any noise or suppress the noise of the wind. Now, I also don't know because I know that there's, there was a, there's, um, there's like, I don't know if you can see it because the GoPro, but there's actually a vent at the front here, which is actually, you have to do it from the inside. You have to catch it from the inside, which is a bit of a faff, but you can get your finger in there. You go, it's better to go through the top because of the air curtain, curtain underneath. But, you have to close it from inside which I think from I think they've probably done it because the aesthetics from the outside and you've you, you haven't got these buttons or things you can probably catch and um, so it's in a good place it's out the way on the inside it's just a little bit faffy to to um, to alter it now there's also vents all around the helmets so if you can see there there's actually in the side of the cheek somewhere I think it's there now, I've not really, you know, I, I sort of got this and I was really excited to get out and try it. So I've not really explored inside to see if there is any lock-off points for them. Because if there isn't, it's going to be pretty annoying, especially on cold days. And especially if it's raining, because you're probably going to get some in influx of, um, of water and, and cold air going through that. Now, it is venting in the right places. I've had other helmets where the vents are on the top, the top front vents. When you open those, it's like there's something crawling on your head and that's it can be quite uncomfortable. You probably know what I mean if you've got the same issue. Um, but with this one, it's like, it sort of comes down and comes around your forehead where you want it. So that's a bit of a, a downside, the fact of the air vents, if they don't close off on the side. Um, but again, I normally wear earplugs, but I purposely didn't on this vlog because I just wanted to see how noisy it actually was. And, and in comparison to all the helmets that I've had, um, I think the air noise is probably better. Now, when you buy these helmets, I'm a size medium. When I got it, I tried to put it on my, it would not go on my head. It was really tight. So I pulled the straps apart, forced it on, but when it's on, it's absolutely perfect. It's really snug. It's not too over tight. It, it's just great. It's brilliant. So um, ten out of ten for that because it, it, you know it's got the it's got the emergency pull out cheeks in case you in case your helmet has to be removed in an emergency. Um, so it, and it's really tight, but it also caught you know it's nice and snug, lovely and snug around the neck. I mean I've not got it's not exactly boiling hot today. But I have got, I haven't got, sorry, my, my neck chief on. So, um, 
there's not really much wind coming around my neck and normally I do feel it and this is stopping that so you know if it's a downside that it does feel pretty tight when you put it on to it then um, there's also a plus side to it because when it's actually on it's all right I think the only thing is it catches your ears when you're pulling it on and because of the material it does actually scratch your ears a little bit now like I mentioned earlier it's not that warm today but for some reason I am absolutely sweating in here um, and it's it is fogging up slightly but all I need to do is just open that bit now, now that's another thing that is really tight it's really tight you can open it up a little bit and it does let a bit in and it won't move at all but uh, it is pretty hard to, to open but it's a nice direct clunk fit when you when you push it back together so it is steaming up just a little bit but to be fair I haven't got a pin pin lock in it which would stop that um, but again it's steaming up a bit it's not too bad you know it's just probably around the edges at the minute I don't know if it'd get any worse without a pin lock but that's something obviously we'd have to see but I normally just open the vents anyway if that's the case so I've got my microphone right in front of my mouth so if you hear me heavy breathing like Darth Vader I do apologize <sighs> your father. anyway digress so we'll have a look at this it's the matte black one which is uh, you know it's quite quite a nice armor um, it's quite a nice looking armor as well but um when I get off the bike in a minute I'll go to my uh, not my normal place but one of my starting to become one of my regular places and we'll have a cup of tea and we'll have a look at it as well but it is a lovely snug fit but when you get it on don't be don't be alarmed and think oh my god it don't fit because actually it does you know this is a perfect size I know I know what helmet size I have now I think they are loose enough anyway they slack it off um, but what one of the things I absolutely love about this helmet is how it connects together because that is absolutely um, sort of like the technology in that the thought behind that is 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 brilliant it really is I think I've just overshot my mark <laughs> oh dear never mind right so let's switch this off you could probably hear me a little bit better now that'd be interesting I just want to see what the mic sounds like as well so let's get this off I'm gonna to have to talk to you on this on my dash cam so let's knock this one off for a minute right I don't know if you can hear me I hope it's uh, it's better that you can hear me <clears throat> I don't, you know, I don't know if the wind's too bad, but this is the helmet. Now, you've got these little points here that just twist off. Then these sections come off and it takes the visor out. A little bit faffy, but solid. You can really feel that solidness of it. Um, I like this little nose piece as well, so it gives you a bit of extra protection there. Um, there's the vent I was talking about, which you have to catch it inside. But she looks well, she looks well. Now let me point your attention to this bit. This clasp, this clasp is actually a magnet. I am pulling as hard as I can and it's not opening. But watch this. How easy was that? It's just a magnet. Brilliant, really good idea. You just knock it on. There you go. I was a bit dubious about using this because I thought that's not going to hold anything. But I've actually seen Rorock's website where they actually try to lift it with a crane and they've got it jacked down on the floor. Um, and it's just not going anywhere. It's not moving anywhere. But that, and you just pull that and, and you're open. It's fantastic. Really good. Really easy to, flat, to, to clip in. Admittedly, you've just got to find where the, where the clipping point is. So it, it might take a, a few attempts at doing that. Um, so there's your emergency pull tabs, so your emergency pull tabs, pull them, pulls the cheeks out, allows the helmet to come off a lot easier. So just looking inside, I can't actually see if there's anywhere to knock the vents off. Um, there might be, but there might not be. So that, that's a bit of a downside for me because obviously, you know, I want to, it would be good if you could knock them off. Um, but again, you know, there might be something somewhere 
I'm not sure. I don't think there is from what I can feel. Can't feel anything. One of the other things this has got on as well, it's got the built-in. This is for a comms unit. And it's like you take that out and there's a special comms unit that Atlas do, which slides into there. So you've not got any of this faff all stuck to your helmet or anything like that. Now, I think it might just be your centers that can go in there or center made, which Atlas have adopted. But I, I think you can actually, um, you know, your cardos are probably your best ones with your packed or uh, your packed or balls, things like that, which you might want to use. So, but I'm not going to put it on this arm. I'm going to stick that. I'm going to leave it on my bell helmet, which is set up really for touring anyway, because the visor, as I keep saying before, darkens on its own. It's like a transition lens, which is again is a really good idea. It'd be good if you could get it for this one as well. But yeah, there she is, the Raw Rock. Really pleased with it. The GoPro. Four, which I'm now using again on the front because I can't be doing with this camera this uh, this attachment that you need for the back for the um, for the audio uh, that's a bit of a faff as well so I've got my Hero 4 on the front the mount that I've got is the motor rads so the motor rads you can just see there I've shown it on my previous videos straight on the front but because this hasn't got it, it doesn't go into a point it's actually got um, it actually sits better it's seated better it's absolutely perfect and the microphone there just plugs straight in you've not got this big heavy adapter on the bottom which is an A1 so this 10 out of 10 not really 10 out of 10 a couple of flaws in it I would say probably 9 out of 10 but yeah I think it's I think they're well worth the money it looks really stylish it's gonna look it's gonna suit sports bikes it's gonna suit cruisers it's gonna look mint on my Harley um, you get two visors with it packaging really good packaging really really padded out and um, you get a cover for it and everything raw rock you've done a good job so nine out of ten for this product love it not been sponsored by anybody to do this just my own personal opinion might have a different opinion when I've been wearing it for about a year or so but this is my first impressions opinion and i'm happy with it so if you enjoyed this video please put thumbs up and uh, like the video and please comment if not as always i'm a big lad i can take it put a negative comment or whatever please subscribe as well that would be good for you to subscribe catch you later good talk crazy out